Hi, this is Higgin and Marcin from Body Architects. We are here in front of Erbsen Fabric one day after craft choreography. What an amazing event, so many great dancers. We will tell you in this video more about it and more about what they want to say. But first, a message from Marcin. Make sure that you click the red button below to subscribe and support us and make sure that you will see the future videos which will come from us. So what exactly is the craft choreography? Craft Choreography is a curated monthly event that happens right here in Erbsen Fabrik in Vienna. We invite artists from all around the world to present their short contemporary dance pieces. I think that the best way to get to know this event is by coming here and see the show live. Of course, maybe you live in different continent and it's impossible for you. Then I recommend to click the link below and see our short intro of the event from the last time. It's a short backstage so we can see how it looks like. But what happens in the artist's mind? How does he or she prepare herself for the show? How do they train? We ask them these questions so you can get to know them a bit better. My name is Jacqueline Lopez. Uh, I'm from Canada. So I am Balint Hoidu. I'm from uh, Hungary. So I'm Maria Yanaros. I'm from Greece. Yeah, I'm Jeanne. I'm from France. My name is Doin Cohen Isan. I'm 31 and I'm from Israel. Uh, my name is Adas Eshel. I'm uh, from Israel. My name is Marco Paya. Um, I started with breaking when I was 14 years old and later on I studied contemporary dance pedagogy at Musik und Kunst Privat Universität Wien. I started dancing when I was very young and at the same time I was also taking gymnastics. Uh, but dance was uh, closer to my heart and I felt I could explore more with it. I'm uh, more into uh, contemporary and modern dance but I also do ballet and musicals and uh, operettas, so uh, I do uh, a lot of styles actually, uh, but I'm more into yeah, contemporary. <laughs> Being a dancer or a choreographer is like any other job where some days you do wake up and you don't, you don't want to do your job. Um, those days are of course hard, but actually the moment that we're in the studio and we begin to move our bodies, it's a bit like a drug. The hardest moment is always to start, and every day that motivation is different. Uh, there's no rule, but I actually often will think about the things that have happened to me in the past, the experiences that gave me a lot, and just having that memory can drive me to push further. The morning I, I, I open my eye and say to myself, ah, ah, great, I will dance and I will go to training, I will go to, I have a new idea to, uh, for, a, for a piece, a new play, and, uh, and I just go. There is so much subjects and so much uh, things to actually dance about and, uh, and show to an audience. Uh. I guess when opportunities like this one, when we came here to Vienna, um, these opportunities makes us motivated for me. Um, my girls keeps me motivated. They always keep asking when, I, when is the next show. When they want it so bad, I want it so bad. Walking in the street, I create. Walking in, I create in my head. Uh, going to sleep, I create stuff in my head. I keep writing my ideas. It, it just, it's coming to me. It's not that I'm always like really, really active in, in pursuing it because I don't always have the time and money, but it's always coming to me, so it, it keeps it alive. If I am not dancing, I'm still moving. I can't uh, not move, so I need to move and I would uh, go running or walking or 
do an activity or a sport, but yeah, most of the time I'm also dancing. So I get inspired from sports. I would say how they train and and which kind of because I think they have like a certain intensity in sports because you have to be so specialized in it, and as a dancer you have to be. I would say specialized in many things. So it always helps if you take something new and it, it always is interesting for yourself and for your body. And, and I have like practice what is like dancing practice, like style or like, I, I would not call it style, but like when I go to a technique class, for an example, or like someone teaches technique or like improvisation or breaking. Um, and then I have like practice where I just try to do exercises to be basically injury free. I'm also a Pilates instructor, so I do a lot of Pilates and I think it's a really, really good way to maintain your body and keep it. And actually in the last months I started doing CrossFit, which is really, really like almost 180 degrees from dance, but keeps you there and keeps you like together and and you need to think less, so I like it. A few years ago, I finished a bachelor degree for uh, protocol exploitation and uh, event management, which is in a way completely different than dance, but in a way it's also a bit uh, art, artistic, real, can be related, of course. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I am interested in that also. And also I'm interested in uh, web developing, actually. I like to make clothes. That's, it's not related to, that. maybe it is, my customs and stuff. All that department is really interesting for me. Um, but I, I like to make clothes to, to sew my customs, to go and find my custom, to work with fabrics, yeah. I'm studying physics uh, alone, so like I'm doing an online bachelor, so it's also complete, something completely different from dance, but I really enjoy to do it because it's like uh, bringing me a balance between uh, physical dancing and art and also like science and uh, mathematics and also working more with the brain and thinking differently than with dance. If you, if you work with your body and then you have free time, you like to do also some resting. Uh, any free moment I have, any chance, I'm in nature. I think nature gives us a lot of energy. You put energy into it, but it gives you energy back. and. There's really nothing like it. I think it's so important for us to connect to our natural world because most people in an average day barely breathe any fresh air. How often do we actually go outside and be natural? Herzkosgasse, 12th of March, but also every month we look forward to seeing you there. If you want to ask some questions to the next artist, please write them in the comment section below and we will respond to your wishes and needs by asking the artists the questions these questions yes that's it for today and we hope to see you next week it is though really important that you stay subscribed most of you are still not subscribed please subscribe this will help our channel grow and will make us happy and fulfilled in our hearts this was this were body architects and peace <laughs>